I'll never forget the very first time that I attended the Canton Fair, 1992. It was a small fair. It was right across from China Hotel, where the exhibitors uh, actually uh, exhibited in the lobby of the hotel, right across the street at Dongfang and China Hotel, in the ballrooms were full of exhibitions. And of course, the products were not high tech. They were prim primarily labor intensive uh, products that, uh, that were produced. And when I think about how that has changed to where we now uh, have uh, access to the largest exhibition convention center in the world, and of course the largest exhibition of any product that happens uh, about twice a year here in China. Many exporters tell us there is a drop in orders coming from the U.S. What's driving that decline? The reason for, for the reduction is uh, you know, can be contributed to many different factors, one of them being that uh, the economies around the world are uh, somewhat anemic and, and slowly catching up after COVID. And, and therefore, it's going to take time for things to recover. But I think appetite of American people for Chinese product remains high. Now, there has been some decoupling happening between China and the U.S. in some areas, but we are seeing some companies uh, reaffirming their investments in China. What's driving that continued commitment in this market? You know, China has said for many years now that they're no longer interested in manufacturing labor-intensive, energy-intensive products, and a lot of those productions are moving to other parts of Asia, uh, Southeast Asia. But at the same time, when you look at China, a, day, a new consumer market is, is, is evolving every day. 75% of members of American Chamber of Commerce are no longer in the export business. They're primarily in China, producing goods and services in China for the Chinese market. And even of the 25% who still uh, export uh, some products, only 60% of those actually export to the United States. So the dynamics of involvement of American companies in China has changed substantially. And we are very interested in being in China to sell to the Chinese consumer who love our products. And for the first time, the Canton Fair has added smart manufacturing, automation, NEVs, and IoT offerings. Uh, what does this mean for U.S. buyers? Are they embracing China's smart factories? Of course, they, they, they continue to embrace. I mean, it is really a market-driven phenomena. Business moves to where the cost uh, is the lowest, uh, and it will uh, move to where uh, the products are higher quality at the lowest possible price. Uh, China still continues to produce that, uh, even if they use, whether they use robotics or, or manual labor. The manual labor is not as readily available in China anymore. So therefore, yes, China has to move up the technology. And guess what? The technology, robotics technology that's being employed are produced and manufactured in the U.S. and exported to China. So it's a win-win situation for both parties.